everybody, this is Drew with Goose Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, we just got done with the first day at uh, the Colorado show here um, in Denver, and we got a lot of cool things. Um, there's a lot of nice dealers there that we normally see, and there's a few new people that we uh, don't normally see. Um, but we got a few nice coins here, circulated 1893. Uh, 14, or I'm sorry, 1942 over one Mercury dime. Uh, you know, another cool thing, 1880S and 65PL with a CAC sticker sitting in an OGH holder. That's pretty neat as well. Um, got a few other key dates that are kind of, uh, that are circulated. This 1886 um, XF45 for this Morgan dollar. Um, got some more high reliefs. Uh, Actually got some tone coins as well. My brother bought a tone coin for our inventory today, which is pretty cool. But uh, I wanted to show you guys everything that we got today. Um, and if you guys are ever interested in any of the coins uh, shown in this video or in any of our future videos, uh, we encourage you to go to AkushaCollectibles.com. Uh, we upload a whole bunch of coins every single week. We're constantly looking for inventory. And if you guys ever want to sell anything to us, uh, we, uh, we can reach out to you on there as well. So just hit that little message icon and uh, you'll be plugged in with us instantly and I'll respond to you uh, as soon as I can. So well, let's take all these to the light box, show you guys everything that we got. Uh, this has been a great show so far. Hey guys, all set up at the hotel, um, and I wanted to just take you guys um, on a little journey, like, like I said earlier. I wanted to show you guys everything that we got today, um, give you guys a perspective on why I picked these things up, and uh, maybe something that you guys can look out for as well. But let's hop into the first coin. This is um, an 1883O, graded uh, MS62 by NGC. Um, the thing that's nice about this coin um, is the color progression. Um, you have this uh, kind of gold and then it has the this red and then green right here uh, It's starting to go a little bit terminal on the right side, but anytime you can get obverse toning um, With this nice color on it on the obverse like I said uh, and having nice remaining luster. I think it was a good pickup um, Gives us a little diversity to the shop and um, it's not an ugly 62. It has uh, like I said decent luster um, Everything's kind of remaining on it um, and what they call this color right here is the money color and um, And they also call it a crescent. So most of the time uh, a coin in a bag probably sat right here uh, Covered this coin up uh, and then the toning started right there So I've actually have a few coins in the personal collection that start to go like this crescent But over the face which is another thing that people also like as well so watch out for that uh, when you're picking up coins like this because um, most of the time they are pretty desirable among collectors. Up next is an 1899-0, a great MS-64. Um, we got the seven digit PCGS code up here. Um, and most likely it was submitted anywhere in the early 90s um, to PCGS. Um, the coin surfaces overall are very uh, minimal in terms of uh, wear and well, not wear, I'm sorry, in terms of having hit and damage in the fields. Um, very little chatter on the face, a little bit to the uh, left of the face, and you're starting to see a little bit down here as well. Um, the reason why I picked this coin up is because um, it's 100% blast white in the OGH holder. Uh, and what we discussed uh, many times is that uh, blast white coins or toned coins that are very beautiful is what collectors go for. Anything in between is a little bit harder um, for a sale or for them to say I love it and I want to pick it up and 1899 is a pretty uh, different kind of date So sometimes it demands a little bit more premium, but pretty nice coin Up next is a coin that um, I couldn't live without and it's gonna be hard for me to film just because of the holder But you can kind of see this rainbow uh, start to kick in um, I can actually turn it on its side as well, but there's this rainbow on uh, behind Jefferson's head and there's also a rainbow going in front of his face um, and also there's some toning on uh, the reverse as well I enjoy the coin um, and it's something that I like to take risks on get a true view at PCGS most likely um, and you know I like to play around with it and see what what it looks like and just offer something unique to my uh, to my customer base and something for you guys to kind of have a nice cool tone coin in your collection so 
Um, I really like this coin, and I can't wait to see what PCGS says about it. Up next, we have um, a 1921D uh, Mercury dime. Uh, the reason why I picked this up is because it's a very nice blast, kind of a, a white coin. Um, and it's also a key date for the series. Um, I've been trying to find a lot of holes for a lot of the collectors I've been talking to. Um, just trying to get them, you know, the 16D, 42 over 1, 42 over 1D, uh, 21D, and the 21 all in their collection. And something like this, like I said, um, it's just really beautiful surfaces. Um, and it's just a nice genuine coin. Um, but let's let me show you guys a few more. Up next is a 1935S. Um, the reason why I picked this coin up is because of the luster on the coin. Um, I think this coin's a pretty shot. It's a it's a pretty coin and has a shot of just being 100% blast white. We have uh, two little uh, spots in the fields, but nothing too distracting here. It is a tougher date, um, and I think there is a little bit of wear on the face and a little bit starting to go on the hairline. So I do agree with their grade, um, but for an AU58 coin. Um, I think the luster is just booming off of this coin. Um, that's the main reason why I picked it up. Some AU coins are ugly, have some have brownish toning to it, um, but this coin uh, blew my socks off. I really liked it, and so I thought, uh, why not pick it up for somebody? I actually have a friend um, and a few and a family member that it would be interested in a date like this. So that's another reason why I would pick this coin up. We talked about earlier in the video showing you guys some circulated key date uh, Morgan dollars. This is an 1886S. Luster is a little bit uh, is in the stars still. Um, the coin is not dark, which is very good. Um, and it also has true views, so it's able to be marketed a little bit better. Um, I love the coin a lot. Um, uh, and like I said, most of the time we're trying to look for a little bit tougher dates for people. And when uh, you know the right right coin presents itself like this one with the luster, the true view, uh, the better date, um, I I really like to pick this stuff up. Um, as you can see on the reverse, um, we still have that kind of remaining luster to it. it Might have been dipped, but um, nonetheless, a beautiful coin. Up next, uh, this coin has a lot of things going for it. Um, it's a 65 PL 1880s. Um, it also is CEC approved. Um, I showed this to one guy and he said I want it, uh, <laughs> but the fields are pretty dark on the reverse. On the obverse it's a little bit more light. Um, you can kind of see um, it's not super frosty on the obverse, um, but you can kind of only see a little bit of a hits on the face, which is, which is good. I think this coin could 65 plus uh, maybe one day uh, with PCGS gives it a little leniency. But I think uh, the coin is just a gem overall. And I can't wait to send this to my friend Ryan in Ohio. Up next, this is a 1901 uh, Morgan dollar. And the 1901 is a little bit uh, of a tougher date like we've talked about. Um, it is a little gray on the obverse. Um, and I, I'll, I reached out to someone on Instagram. Uh, they said, hey, I need, a, I need a hole filled for the 1901. And so he's going to crack it out and throw it in his in his book. But um, luster is is still pretty nice on this coin as well. Um, you can you can tell the circulation has set in a lot on it. Um, but I think uh, you know any like I said, anytime you get a 1901, uh, 1886s, and another coin I'm about to show you, um, like buy it. It's the right coin um, if you can get it for the right price. Um, we got this coin. Um, I think a little bit above gray sheet. Uh, and most people try to aim for gray sheet when they go at sh to shows and stuff, but um, most of the time that's pretty hard to find. So if you want to kind of get a lot of coins for your customers, sometimes you have to pay up and just let them know, hey, um, I tried to find the best coin for you, and this is the one, and I hope you enjoy it. But you're going to have to pay a little bit more just because uh, the coin business is booming right now uh, with everything that's going on. So really nice coin. And let me show you guys uh, just a few more. This is a 1921 Mercury dime. Uh, going back to the white surfaces, a um, little bit of, of darkness there. Um, but the cool thing about this coin, which I like, is it's uh, like a rotated die. So you can kind of see um, the face is you know, completely uh, vertical. And then when you flip it over, you can kind of see it a little bit pivoted to the right. That's when you know you have a rotated die. 
Um, and I like picking these up too because you can put that on your sales posts. Um, you can also let the collector know, hey, you got a rotated die. Um, and so that kind of gives it a little bit more of a boost in terms of value for them. Um, and it kind of sweetens the deal. It gives it a cherry on top. Um, but a VG8, um, a really gorgeous coin. And another coin. Oh boy, I love this coin. This is a 1942 over 1, graded a very fine 35. Um, and we can kind of see that one trickling right over the two. Almost looks like an R, and this coin, is just, I just like it because it has a little bit of a toning accent to it. Um, and, I don't know, I, I can't get enough of Mercury Dimes and Key Dates. Uh, it's really been something that I've been trying to grow my knowledge on and give a unique perspective on. Um, we can kind of see a little bit of toning on the reverse. Not too pretty, um, but it will get her done. And um, I actually found this coin today. I asked somebody, hey, how much do you want for it? He had a $400 price sticker on it. He opened up his gray sheet and said, no, it's $450 now. And so I was like, oh, crap. But, um, I mean, either way, I really love the coin. Um, I love these kind of unique rarities. And I hope you guys do too. Uh, a date that's been really hard to get uh, lately has been the 1893 uh, Morgan dollar. Um, this one's graded XF45. Once again, we're going back to that kind of uh, remaining luster on a coin. And um, anything with 93 on it has been really sought, off, sought after. Uh, many of the wholesalers are paying a lot for these. But um, one, the normal cycle for me has been I get a 93, it sells, and then I end up finding another 93. So it's been on a pretty good and steady pace for me. Um, you can kind of see uh, the circulation on the hair starting to come down the face and then it's really heavy around uh, the stars and in the fields and then you kind of see that uh, wear starting to come in on uh, the breast feathers um, but overall like like I said this coin's very beautiful um, it's just so somebody's gonna find the find the time to either go on the website or I'll reach out to them personally and say hey you know um, here's this 93 that you might be looking for and uh, I hope uh, they really enjoy it Last but not least, I want to show you this 1898S um, estimates overall uh, before 1900, uh, or 1900 and before, and even after. Like the estimates are actually uh, pretty low mintage for, for many of these dates. Um, the 1898S, uh, there's not too many that are minted. Um, and uh, this coin is really almost close to MS60. Um, and I don't know uh, why they would not give it an MS60 grade. I think we're starting to see just a little circulation, I guess, on the obverse here. Um, most of the time when you see a cartwheel kind of uh, move out through the coin, uh, if the luster doesn't keep on the high points in terms of uh, when you spin it, you can kind of see that the the face is lo isn't going to keep that cartwheel and, and it's going to be a little bit worn. You can kind of see it right, right here and starting to come in on the hair. Uh, that's kind of where they start to say it's an AU coin, and uh, they get a little um, they get a little trigger happy and toss an AU58 on it. But uh, something like this might need to go to CAC and you know get get an, uh, another perspective on it. Who knows? It could gold CAC. But I appreciate uh, you guys taking a look at all these coins. I was going to show you guys more, but um, if you guys want to see the rest of what we got today, I'd I'd uh, encourage you guys to stop by our website acousticcollectibles.com. Um, or just talk to us in the comments. We'd be happy to respond to you guys as well. But thank you guys for watching this part of the video. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please consider leaving a like on the video. It really would help us out. Um, I also want to know uh, what coin shows do you plan to go to in the next few months? Uh, comment those down below. And if you are new, uh, I'd recommend subscribing. We have great videos coming out every week. But I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week.